there, but portions of I-43 are closed right now because of ice in Brown County. At least nine cars crashed into each other this afternoon near County Highway MM. A very dangerous situation just north of here. And here's what it looks like at the airport. Some freezing rain there earlier looked a lot worse, but we're not hearing of any flight delays right now. So thanks for joining us. I'm Charles Benson. Shelley has the night off. We are getting reports of ice on the roads, so let's turn things right over now to Storm Team forecaster Michael Fish. He has the latest on the conditions. What are you seeing, Michael? All right. It depends on where you are, Charles, and how much salt is down and how much ice you're seeing. Here's Waukesha. Looks like there's a little glaze over the road here, but then the main highways are looking better because they're seeing more salt. Why is there some ice in Waukesha? Look at the temperature, 28 as the freezing drizzle falls. It all has to deal with this low pressure system. You can see it swirling around here and it's just getting stronger and then it's going to develop a batch of rain around it. And a lot of us going to see our temperatures actually going up tonight. But as far as Viper HD radar, here's what's interesting about it. See how not much is showing up? That's because it's drizzle and drizzle is pretty light. But if we put our Doppler radar mode in a real sensitive mode, Look at this. This is that drizzle. It's falling in a lot of places around here, and it all depends.